So, um, yeah, so uh, let me give you my thoughts. Um, personally, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not too down on the loss. I thought it was a really uh, f hard fought game. Uh, the team showed grit. Uh, they, 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 they showed a determination uh, to stay in there with the Chiefs. And for a while in the first half of that game, we actually had control. We were doing the right things. We were um, controlling clock. We had possession. Um, we were doing really good things in terms of uh, running the ball. More on that later. But. Uh, that being said, it looked like things were kind of going our way in the beginning of the game. It seemed like they, they, they really tried to get um, um, Travis Kelsey involved in that offense. Uh, one of the guys I thought were going to be um, a really pain in the butt since I think they were going to try to uh, game plan a lot on Tyree Hill and on Kareem Hunt. So I, I did expect um, Travis Kelsey to be the big main focus a lot throughout, throughout that offense. And for the very first first half of the game it looked like they kind of had him contain any other two players they weren't really that big and big involved in the game until the fourth quarter a um, little bit early into the fourth quarter but that being said I think they did well I think Carson Wentz had a pretty decent game in certain parts uh, once again threw over th for 300 yards for two touchdowns that's really really good um, I was really impressed with the defense Jim Schwartz has this defensive line prepared. Our front four is just incredibly amazing. Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham getting at it. Even even uh, David Barnett, our rookie, uh, at, almost had an opportunity to sack Alex Smith, his first NFL career uh, uh, sack, but unfortunately he was able to escape and Alex Smith was able to elude him uh, for the third down. Um, later during the game. We were making plays quickly and often. It looked like uh, Carson Carson Wentz was kind of uh, sharing the wealth with pretty much a lot of receivers. Uh, Zach Ertz, again, was a big player in the game, looking very good, had a really good game. Uh, we saw a couple of bomb, couple of hits for Torrey Smith, even one for the touchdown. Um, Ashon Jeffrey got really, really involved in the game, which was pretty good. Uh, Nelson Aguilar was nowhere to be found until the end Literally until like what we had like what 20 seconds left on the clock for that touchdown. So uh, Okay, that, that that's great. Even we saw a couple of rookie sightings. Matt Collins was two catches and um, on the defensive end uh, uh, Rajul Douglas uh, did pretty well actually had a real big play on that third down against Tyreek Hill Wood He was able to break up that pass. So overall there were some good things to take away from this game This team showed a lot of grit. They showed a lot of determination And I think that's a lot of good things that we can bring in as we move forward to the season. Let's talk about some of the negatives right now Where the hell is the running game because I have not seen it in such a long ass time uh, So other than Darren Sproles being your number one lead one running back in the game, which I wasn't against that decision. I thought having a more shiftier guy that can kind of put um, the Chiefs offense ideally off balance would be, I thought was a lot more effective. He basically ran for, uh, basically for 48, an average, what, 48 yards, an average of 4.5, uh, five a yard, uh, what wait, it was 10 carries. Actually looked pretty good. And then your second running back was Carson Wentz for Russian. Where was Ligeria Blunt? Now, I don't know, was he hurt? Was he never actually involved in the game plan? I really don't understand why you have this guy here in your offense if you're not going to use this guy as a, bru as a bruiser back. Now, personally, I do have my issues with LeGarrette Blunt, I think he is a tad bit slow. I think he doesn't hit the holes fast enough, but you have him. It'd be good to actually have him as that change your back. You, again, with running backs, you have to feed him the ball. You have to get him going. Uh, you know, sometimes you're not gonna hit. He'll get stopped for maybe two, three yards of carry per play. And then you'll have those moments where he'll hit that hole and he'll gush the defense for 12 to 13 yards. As you saw was Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt, we, 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 we held him back. Sometimes he had a negative yards and then as the game went on and you kept on feeding him the running run, he gashes us, us he, he hits us for a touchdown. That's how you run the ball. Actually, now 
if you think about it as an Eagles fan and how we had like Andy Reid here, he, it's funny how he would always throw the ball and he would never run. And now it's kind of very ironic now that he's actually starting to see the running game uh, actually working well. Other than the fact that he does use Kareem Hunt as to be able to throw back back passes and use him as also a wide receiver in times. But it is just kind of funny. I just want to kind of point that out that it, it's, it's kind of funny how Andy Reid is running the ball. Uh, usually a guy who really is all about like throwing more than, than running. But but I, I digress on, on, on that moment. So the fact that Lagerba had no yards, that is insane. How do you not at least draw up a couple of plays for this guy to get going and to be featuring in, in, in your offense? You can't do a lot of play action when you don't present a threat of a possible running game. You just cannot do that. It's, it's a little bit mind boggling that you would get this guy in and not feature him in any of your plays is beyond me. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, Eagles fans, yeah, just get ready to accept this because uh, uh, this is what Doug Peterson is pretty much. Uh, uh, <laughs> throw first, run, never uh, coach. Other things to sit down and mention. Uh, our offensive line, again, wasn't too bad. Uh, our mid line, our, our, our mid offensive line is bad. And speaking, and, and I mean that, like Isaac Salomalo, I think the guy poorly, poorly couldn't run block, uh, put us in not some good situations. Uh, the, the line needs to get better. This is twice in two games right now that Isaac Salomalo has been beating in a lot of situations that have had, that has hurt um, our certain drives. And again, yeah, right now we just don't have a lot of offensive line depth. And this is funny that we, this is technically supposed to be our strongest position and still is, but you know, that, that mid, the middle is still going to be a great big concern. And uh, I don't know that we have any real answers uh, to get that fixed now that we're into the season. Another issue to, you know, driving back about, I know, I, I know I shouldn't really hamp on the running game, but it's really bothersome. Dude, you, you gotta run the ball, man. You're, get, you're gonna get your quarterback killed. Uh, it, it's one of the biggest issues and the problems that you have. Look, look at the Apple's Colts right now. I mean, Andrew Luck right now is sitting in his bed with a lacerated spleen because the fact that they don't commit enough with the run and the fact that they have a really crappy offensive line in the Indianapolis Colts and it's it, it it you are doomed to make that same poor decision with Carson Wentz if you do not have a balanced running attack. I mean God damn, it was incredibly lopsided. I think that we threw what 48, 60 plays out of the, what out of like the 48 plays we only ran the ball 13 times. That's not gonna win you games in the NFL, and it's clearly not gonna win you games. God forbid this team actually actually gets into the postseason. Uh, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much my concerns with the game. Um, you know. It was well hard, well fought game. Again, I kind of went into this expecting us not to really win the game, though. But there were opportunities for the Eagles to snatch a win and to snatch a very important win that could have put us on notice and put us really on top in the NFC East and made us a premier team that people should fear. And I still think we're we're there. I think we're really on that track. I don't think we've really lost any momentum in this. If anything, it kind of actually puts in my faith, especially in the defense, that the de defense can be very, very good and that Jim Schwartz has his defense really prepared even with all the injuries that were kind of all the injuries are starting to slowly pile up you know it is the nfl that he has these guys ready to go and they are very fundamentally sound in their technique i think it's been really good on jim schwartz part on the deal so that's my opinion on week two against the Eagles versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I would love to hear your opinion and your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page as well. Until then, I gotta post up these uh, missing flyers too that I made because god damn we haven't seen this guy since like FedEx Stadium or the running game in that matter. 
So yeah, I gotta go down to Philadelphia and start passing these out too, man, because it's an ABP, man. We definitely need to get that running game going. So until then, guys, Philadelphia, Eagles Nation, y'all stay fly. Has anybody seen the running game? Or this man? Anybody? Anybody seen the running game? No? Nope. Okay.